For a lot of people, Grand Theft Auto 4 was kind of depressing. It was set in this East Coast inspired, overcast city. Frankly, it was kind of a hellhole. And I think a lot of people are looking for something different. Maybe a vacation from that? Grand Theft Auto 5 is that vacation. Grand Theft Auto 5 is set in Los Santos in the surrounding area of Blaine County. It's obviously inspired by Los Angeles and its surrounding areas because you're dealing with not only a metropolis but also more rural areas, deserts, streams, mountains, trees, that sort of thing. On the other hand, you've got Vinewood, which is obviously inspired by Hollywood. So you've got ritzy mansions, you've got neon, you've got drug addicts on the sidewalk. It's definitely a different feel. So while the world is super expansive, we do have some concerns about the hardware trying to match up with Rockstar's really ambitious vision. In the demo we saw, we got to look at a really long vista where we're dealing with miles and miles of open land. In that case, low resolution textures and some blurriness and jagginess was definitely apparent. It definitely did not look as clean as what we're seeing in the trailers. Some of that may be because the playable demo we saw is definitely a few months behind, but it's hard to say for sure what the final version will look like. So for the first time in a GTA game, we're dealing with three playable characters. Each of those characters, in addition to having their own stories and personalities, actually have their own skill sets. Franklin's great at driving, so he can actually slow down time while he's driving, letting you take turns more carefully. Whereas Michael can pull off Max Payne-style dodges in the middle of combat. And Trevor has this crazy rage mode that'll let him take out guys with melee attacks. Honestly, I think that's great. I think a lot of people felt a lot of fatigue after playing 60 hours as Nico Bellic. And now, instead, you're getting three separate stories that intertwine with one another should keep your interest much longer. So within this huge world, there's obviously a ton of things to do. In the demo that we saw, we saw scuba diving, we saw skydiving. For the first time in a GTA game, you actually don't have to unlock certain parts of the map. You're unlocking it all from the get-go. So if you want to just run off into the distance, I don't know, doing some crazy stuff in the desert, or flying a plane, you can do that right from the get-go. You don't have to play through the story mission at all. To me, it seems like they're giving a lot more freedom to the player, letting them go off wherever they want. It was one of the issues that a lot of people have with GTA 4, which felt very guided and narrow, whereas this feels wide open. There's definitely side missions that you can take on where you'll see a person on the side of the road and you can talk to them and they'll give you a mission akin to Red Dead Redemption or Grand Theft Auto 4. But then there's the main campaign, which is obviously the bulk of the action, and that's all about the heists. Heists play a big part in GTA 5. We've already learned that there are three playable characters in the game, but those three characters will actually come together for these heist missions, working together and planning out what's going to be coming next. For example, Franklin might steal the car for the mission, whereas Michael picks, say, the entry point for the mission, and Trevor plans the escape route. Planning for these missions is extremely important because players will actually be selecting each stage of the mission themselves. So if you want to attack from the rear or from the front, or deciding which car you're going to use as the getaway, that's all in your control. It's super cool to have that sort of control over a GTA mission because we really haven't had that in the past. That said, we didn't see any of that planning in the demo, so we sort of have to take their word for it that it'll be that involved and integrated into the game. Right now, Grand Theft Auto V has a lot of promise. I really dig what they're doing with the open world and the different playable characters really do have a different vibe about them and their different abilities make it really important to pick who you're playing as for each mission. But a lot of this is still speculative because they're just telling us about them. We didn't see a lot of this stuff in the demo. But if they do come through on all these promises and this ends up being the biggest GTA game yet, great. That'll be an awesome curtain call for this generation of consoles.